starting in 5 seconds sir i was trying to say that the resolution as my friend has referred to three aspects consequent on the various polling the resolution seeks to condemn certain statements made by the leading members of the government and the statements are attributed to as though encroaching upon the jurisdiction of the election commission as the mover of the resolution put it the independence of election commission that is the second aspect and third aspect is a suggestion flowing from the erosion as he calls it or the independence of the election commission so that a parliamentary committee could be set up to review the election laws and suggest appropriate reforms the issue of electoral reforms has also been discussed at length and many a speaker has generally spoken about the electoral reforms while i will make my submissions with reference to the electoral reforms in journal with reference to some of the speakers who have adverted to the various aspects of the reforms i feel it duty bound to also meet some of the points which have been raised by the honorable member here particularly with reference to the election commission and also about certain irregularities which they have brought to the notice of this house that had taken place in the repoll at several places sir the mover of the resolution while highlighting the aspect of the independence of the election commission has chosen to speak on a broader aspect and painted a picture on the wider canvas as to the erosion of all the parliamentary democratic institutions in this country i would not like to become emotional as he did but i would certainly advert to the aspects on which i feel that he was very much uncharitable sir what was stated was that the cabinet system of the government was sought to be stifled the institution of judiciary was sought to be tempered and cramped and it was also said that the entire parliamentary system was sought to be totally negated by us and in the ultimate analysis he proceeded to concentrate on the erosion of the authority of the chief election commissioner but i never expected from the mover of the resolution whom i had heard a little that he would go to the extent of saying that actions that we on this side are seeking to resort only to negative parliamentary democracy sir i do not know what he meant by a large phrase of stifling by us the cabinet system of the government well phrases could be coined but the realities must speak for themselves i was trying to understand from him as to whether he was going to paraphrase his expression so that i could meet it squarely on the points that he would put forth i must say and i will say with a little authority that is at my command that in no form did we try at any point of time to stifle the cabinet system of government in this country and i am on record sir in this house itself when the debate 
did crop up twice on the basis of the statement of one ex chief minister and the other chief minister that i had categorically stated that there was nothing so far as this government was concerned to think in terms of the presidential from of government notwithstanding my statement a person who is a part and parcel of the present government or a person who is a spokesman of the government apparatus of the day if the mover of the resolution would still like to do a little bit of idle flying on the basis of some of the statements of persons who do not have their own contribution in the formulation of the policies of the government of india i cannot help it i beg to leave the matter there if he wants to use it and he has used it by way of a spice in his argument that is a matter for him to taste it and see how much it taste as far as we are concerned we did not and i should say that so far as our leader is concerned at no point of time did he either encourage or speak on this issue at all if you would like to read too much if you would like to believe only in propaganda nobody can help you in the matter you are to express yourself or repeat like a parrot whatever you would i would not like to answer on what i have already said on this issue sir a very vague expression an expression which could perhaps attract the attention of some of the intellectuals and also the newspapers namely the tampering of the judicial independence was also raised i am not sure i would have made a little inquiry which i did not i must frankly confess that it was merely a propagandist approach raise the issue and say whatever you like stop